And the top weight, number one, Notley, ridden by Richard Purnham. Number two, Bold Les, John Williams. Number three, Grand Prix, the man of Steve Cawthon. Number four, let's be honest about it, Frank Editore. Number five, Joe Sugden, Walter Swinburne. Number six, Green Dollar, Lester Pickett. His only ride here this afternoon. Number seven, Craft Express Visors, Michael Roberts. Number eight, our fan, Pat Eddery. Number nine, Crockett's Courage, Blinkard. Jim Quinn. Number ten, Barley Gay, Willie Carson. Oh, that inside store one. Number 11, Gallant Hope, Blinkard, Nick Carlisle. And number 12, Waverly Star, Blinkard, ridden by Tyrone Williams. So, as they make their way to post, let's check the odds. And Barley Gay is the 92 favourite, Grand Prix on 5-1. And our fans steady at sixes. Bold Les, seven to one. Green Dollar is eight to one from seven to one, as is Cronk's Courage. And let's be honest about it. Gallant Hove, another eight to one shot. And Craft Express shows a ten to one. Twelve to one bar there. Yes, the pace should uh, very well come from uh, Kronk's Courage on the outside in the blue and white quarters. Remember, he made a lot of the running, but Bali Gay on the inside and Willie Carson showing pace too, and they're split across the uh, width of the track. The back marker is Craft Express just a bit outpaced, but as they race through the first uh, quarter mile and begin the descent, the ground cutting up uh, quite a lot, you notice, and it's uh, Kronk's Courage on the outside who's gained the day. Bali Gay the rails, and on the outside, Waverly Star showing pace in third, followed by Joe Sugden for the top weight, Notley in five and then Bold Les holds the rail in six and then just in behind these uh, comes Gallant Hope on the outside of the pack. Let's be honest gets a reminder Grand Prix with a lot to do. Just over two to go and it's Kronk's Courage in the lead pressing on the outside is uh, Bally Gay in the purple colours. Here comes Waverly Star with the blinkers. Notley the top weight on the very wide outside also opening up wide is Gallant Hope a furlong and a half to go and it's Notley and Gallant Hope with Kronk's Courage next to the rails. It's Notley in the pale colours but down the centre of the track Gallant Hope putting in a tremendous run and it's Gallant Hope on the very wide outside not near the rail and Green Dollar is finishing out of the pack and it's going to be Gallant Hope and Green Dollar and at the line Green Dollar gets it Green Dollar from Gallant Hope and from absolutely nowhere Craft Express came through into third place and tactically very significant the one two three all came down the center of the track but Leicester's got it on number six Green Dollar in the colors of uh, Mr. B. Asmadu, there is old Lester Pigott. He was uh, successful yesterday making all, hugging the rails, and on this soft ground, he brought this uh, green dollar, son of Tickle Pick, a nine to one shot, and he's only riding right Epsom. Goodness me, he brought this horse very wide indeed uh, to take it from Gallant Hope. That's the horse with the nose band in second place. And the third horse home is number seven, Craft Express, all the way down from Middleham. And what a cracking race he has run. Fourth is the top weight, number one, Notley, on the far side. Fifth, we'll find, is Grand Prix, ridden by Steve Cawthon. And then on the far side with the white cap is Kronk's Courage. Made the running, but sticking next to the far rails, he got stuck in the mud, and it was Lester Piggott who gained the, ga gained the day on Green Dollar. And he had a tremendous ride coming... Nine to one, second number 11, Gallant Hope at eight to one, and third number seven, Crash Express, ten to one. Number 10, Bally Gay, was the four to one favorite. Tate paid 750 the win and the place is two pounds exactly 270 and 330. The dual forecast gained to 25 pounds exactly and 12 rounds.